videos but we were planning for some other video and it just couldn't wrap our minds around any video so i was like uh, how about we record about the game so what better game than this so as you can see in my background and what i have in front of me today we are basically going to learn about a game which is more than 2000 years old so uh, a long time ago in the 6th century a, a very rich and powerful king was there uh, he had a son but in one terrible battle he, the son died so the king was so upset that he locked him inside a room and never came out all his subjects tried to cure him but they never succeeded but one old and wise man came into the room and introduced a new game which had two uh, main features two key features different rules for moving different pieces and a single king piece whose fate determined for the enemy's outcome so after the wise man taught the game the king learned to play the game and then they recreated the game where his son died and then the only way to save his king was to sacrifice the most important piece well at least to the king it was his son so he sacrificed his son in order to save the king so after cure after his sadness were cured then uh, he said you can have anything gold uh, silver uh, anything you can even be the king but the wise man scrapped all of that and said i don't need everything just give me one grain of wheat for the first square two grains for the second and then double the amount until you reach the 64th square the king laughed because that's so easy just collect some grains but uh, when the king tried to add up all the grains it turned out to be a whole mountain of grains around planet earth the number of grains were more than 18 trillion the wise man said you see chess and math are close related so the game continued and later uh, came new rules like uh, changing the pieces their rules and they uh, put openings uh, middle games and end games yeah. but the newest rule in chess was en passant but still it was like what uh, 200 years ago invented but uh, also a uh, 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 advisor piece was replaced by a queen uh, which was a female leader you know a queen because it's a feminine gender of the king so the game continued and then um, close to the uh, they updated softwares of chess where you can play ch chess but uh, one day uh, a software actually defeated a grandmaster so you see uh, I was actually planning to surprise with you uh, the name of chess but I already said it like a bazillion times in this video so you see chess is a pretty old game but I couldn't explain all the rules uh, if I did explain all the rules it would be like King moves there, 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 and I moves there, there, there. So I'm not gonna explain it. Instead, I uh, don't know what to do. Well, that's the history of chess. I hope you like it. Please explain how to play. Okay. So I had to. Uh, I'm. I'm really sorry. I have to now so explain. So give a summary, eh? A summary means short. Okay, a short. So, uh, if you didn't understand, uh, just play the videos or go and see different videos. I'm just going to go over a simple basic, a simple basic rules. So basically, your uh, well, your goal is to checkmate the other king.
king. You know, if white wants to checkmate the other king, it is this. And if black wants to checkmate, it is this. So, uh, for starters, each uh, piece have a different way of moving. The easiest of to, to learn is the rook. The rooks are placed on the corners of the chessboard. And you see, uh, there are numbers and uh, I mean numbers and letters on the sides of the board. The numbers represent ranks. Ranks are side to side rows and the letters represent piles. Piles are up to down rows like thing. And there are also diagonals which I'll tell you later. So the beginning of the game, the black rooks are placed on H8, you know, combine the letter and the number H8 and A8. Uh, A8. And then the white rooks are placed on H1 and A1. So now moving inwards, we can study about the knight. The knight is a unique piece. It is the only piece that can jump over. So if you wanted to move uh, the knight, you can move it um, because you couldn't move all these pieces except these two and of course the pawns. So the knight can move here and here but it cannot land on a square sharing its uh, another piece. It had to capture the opponent's piece or uh, it couldn't move over there. So now the bishops. The bishops move along the diagonals. These are the diagonals, sorry Paul. These are the diagonals. And if you see, if this bishop is on a white square, let me just move it around a little. I could not get it to a dark square. But this bishop can go to any of the dark squares. So the two bishops work together to control the whole chessboard. Now we learn the royal highnesses. Your queen and king, your majesty, I don't know if you have to say like that, but the queen is considered the most powerful piece. It is basically a combination of the rook and bishop. It can move up, it can move down, it can move side, and it can move on the diagonals. The king is like the uh, king, this king is like the queen, but it can only move one king into the square. So it's basically an old, old, old king. So yeah, that's the summary. But there are a lot uh, more rules like on um, pawn promotion. But I couldn't tell all of them in this video. Since, you see, chess is a pretty, you know, big world. So uh, that was a quick summary. But I didn't still uh, say what is the most important thing. I don't know why. But you see, when a king is threatened, let me just put that king, you know, normally it couldn't move over there. If the king is threatened, it is in check. Uh, let me, uh, wait. wait. Let me, let me arrange it. Yeah, there we go. So the king is in check. And you have a way to uh, put your king out of check. You must put your king out of check. Because that's the rules of chess. And so now... Uh, just imagine CPR. You have heard that before. So the C stands for capture. Uh, wait, I'm supposed to. Wait. This knight just flew out of this. So you can capture. You can capture the checking piece. Here, what well, you can do all three. But let's just say he captures because the capturing is the most uh, very good move. He can capture and now the white king is safe. But he can also and the C P. The P stands for protect. So protect means to put something in the bishop's path. So if he put something in the bishop's path for this uh, bishop, well now the white king is safe. And then R is what you are most likely to do to run away. You can run away here. Here, 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 but not here because you were just being in check. And when the king cannot do CPR, let's just magically remove those pieces. If he's like in the position of this, maybe. Oh, uh, wait. Mm. The, 
side. And can you move over there? So let's put the other rook. Yes, so this is an example of checkmate. Yeah. Checkmate is basically a check, but it is where you are not able to do CPR. Here, he cannot capture, well, he cannot capture because there are two checking pieces. And he also cannot block because there are two checking pieces. And he cannot run away. He can't run away over here because of that rook. He can't run away both the three squares because the queen. And he cannot run away because of the rook. And he can move here, here, here. So, yeah, that's an example of checkmate. So, I hope you enjoyed it. But, uh, yes, I think I covered it. Everything I was supposed to say, right? I always have a paper inside my pocket. It's a magical paper. So, it's been the history of chess. And uh, has ex ex explained the rules of chess. Well, sorry, I didn't explain all the rules. But, you know, that is just a short summary. There are plenty more stuff uh, I can explain. But, you know, you know, I can't like sit here all day and speak about the king, the rook, and the black. So, yes, that's a nice game. I hope you enjoyed. As always, the normal outro. Subscribe if you didn't. And also, like if you did it. And, um, and, and, and. Wait. Bye! Click on your horses.